Hey guys, so in this video we have a couple of ICs here that we need to solder on this base and uh, one of them is the PT8211. It's a very low cost 16-bit DAC and the other IC that we have here is the TDA2822. So uh, what we're trying to do here is that um, make a 16-bit DAC. It will have two channels and it should be able to play some audio. It's mainly for one Internet of Things application that I'm designing and this is just an evaluation version of that uh, because I'm actually planning to use the AIC23 uh, audio codec but this thing actually has I2S interface and that actually makes things very easy to develop uh, before switching to something like AIC23 because you have to undergo a lot of circuit designing and all that stuff when uh, you're actually using some uh, codec ICs like that and this one this just costs a couple of cents and it's very easy to interface it doesn't really matter even if you screw this thing up you can simply buy a new one so this is pretty good and we'll just take a look at how we go ahead and solder these things it's going to be uh, both of them on the same uh, same PCB here because I don't want them to be too far away and you know it's an audio application, don't really want things to be far away and uh, getting uh, induced stuff and getting distortion. So it's just actually very good to match things up directly on one PCB. And I didn't have the time to make a dedicated PCB for this. So this is exactly what we got and this is what we're going to work on. So let's try to solder this thing. Well, initially we'll just uh, apply some flux here. We don't need a lot of flux, but hey, too much flux never hurts, so why not? Well, I have some very fine solder wire here, and as you can see, you need some pretty fine soldering wire because if you use, use a thick one, those 1mm thick ones, it's just not going to be able to solder things as accurately as you would with one of these things. So we're just simply going to tin this, uh, tin some pads here. That's usually a good way because you have to tack down the chip uh, directly onto one pad. So we have some solder on there and now we're just going to tack down one leg of this SOIC package and you know the good thing about SOIC packages is that these things are pretty darn big and are extremely easy to solder don't really take a lot of time and as you can see we have tagged this down so we will now proceed with soldering the other pins and yes it is actually as easy as that surface mount doesn't really take a long time it's it's not as complicated as most people think they are it's actually rather easy Let's do the other side. Just flip this around. And, you know, I'm not a very big fan of all those uh, raised clamps that you get for soldering purposes. It just feels like it's too restrictive and takes up space. You don't have um, comfortable spacing for your hand. So that's, that's not one of the things that I uh, necessarily like. Yeah, so it seems like it's done. So let's open up yet another one and try.
try to solder this as well. It's not going to be as tough because as you can see these packages are quite big and if you doubt the size of this let me just uh, give you an idea of the scale. Well this is the size of the package. It might seem like it's difficult to actually solder these things but yeah it's not that tough really. I'll just try to separate it by uh, the space of one pin and that's pretty much it. That's how you solder these things. And again it's going to be the, exactly the same strategy. We're just going to tack this down and uh, after that you just have to solder that. We take a little bit of solder on the tip and uh, we try to place this thing, just try to align it as well as you can. You don't really have to think a lot about the alignment because it just doesn't really even matter. It, the pin spacing is quite high. So we're just going to tack this down and uh, yep, it's stuck. So let's solder the other pins. You might want to start from the pin that is actually farther from the pin that you tack down because if you uh, try to solder the pin directly next to it, it's most probably going to come off and that's not something that you want. By the way, we're running thick traces because that's probably a better idea. You'll see why uh, in some later videos. So we're good to go. It looks pretty neat. Let me show you. Um, I'll just zoom in on this and then you can see. So that's all for this video. We have this thing soldered and we're good to go. We'll just uh, proceed with the rest of the PCB design and that will probably make for another video. Until then, thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.